Hi, my name is Brian Verbort, and I'm a solutions engineer with M2 Technologies. I'd like to walk through an issue and a related solution, which has been coming up more and more frequently during customer inventor upgrades. I'll go ahead and launch Inventor, and while that's loading, let's discuss the problem in a little bit more detail. The issue we're going to cover here is related to content center customizations that organizations have been making in order to modify uh, content center component information that is placed into an inventor assembly. Now this is a really good idea by the way so if you haven't done this or if you're thinking it's something you'd like to do uh, watch to get uh, some detailed information and avoid what seems to be becoming a fairly common mistake. The idea is to customize the information associated with these documents to match the physical properties and the specifications that are unique to your company. Things like part number, stock number, material type, finish, and even unique component geometry. For our purposes, I'm making the assumption that you have some sort of a rudimentary understanding of the methods, workflows, and the outcomes that result from placement of standard content center library components in an inventor assembly. And if not, let us know, and maybe that can be something that we cover in a future technical bulletin like this one. The topic covered here is specifically content center linked libraries which result from copying standard components from the Autodesk provided read-only libraries to a custom read-write library. This is the first step in customizing the content families and components. After all, you can't edit these read-only libraries, nor would it necessarily be a good idea to do so, which is why I believe the Autodesk delivers them in a read-only state in the first place. Let's start by taking a look at the methods for accessing these libraries. First of all, the content center libraries available to you in Inventor are controlled by the active project file. This method gives you the potential to assign a different set of libraries to different projects and easily switch projects in order to access the content center libraries that may be unique for different products or even different customers that you might be working with. Secondly, there are two ways the custom content libraries can be made available to you. The access to each of these two ways is managed with the Inventor Application option settings. On the Content Center tab, you'll find the setting which allows you to switch between locally installed content libraries and also note that there's file and folder path information provided when you use this method and the Autodesk Vault hosted library databases. You can use one of these methods to get access to content or the other and there may even be good reasons for using both. Um, however, they can't both be used at the same time. Switching between the use of one or the other results in an informational message regarding the change you're making. For our purposes, I'll be using the local desktop library. Let's take a closer look at the project file I pointed out earlier and see what contents in our libraries are made available to us using this as our active project. Here we can find a list of the read-only standard content libraries. And the option, which allows us to create a custom read-write library, which we can leverage to customize and host the content unique to our needs. The creation and inclusion of a new library changes the list of content libraries available to users of this project. As such, these changes to the project need to be saved. Next, we'll add some content to the custom library using a purpose-built content center editor utility. I'll navigate and identify some content we might like to customize. In this case, we'll use an inch and metric hex bolt for our example. I'll make a copy of the component in the custom library using the right click to access the copy to option. Oops, there it is. There's the mistake. This is the one that's causing all the fuss when migrating to a new release of Inventor. Did you see it? I used the copy to option. This workflow has made a copy of the component with a live link back to the source read only library. As you can see, this is identified by the change in the component icon. It now has a small gold link of chain. You can also see that there's now an option to suppress that link temporarily if you'd like to. 
which results in an almost invisible icon. In fact, it's so subtle that it's easily missed and can mislead you into thinking that the copy isn't linked to any source library. So what's the big deal? Well, the purpose of link components is so that any changes made to the source component will be updated or synchronized in the link children. Okay, so that sounds good. Why is that a problem? Well, remember the source library status? It's read only, which means it can't be modified. So what good's this link? Well, it's of no use at all, honestly, and only complicates the process of migrating the inventor libraries from an older release to a newer one. So you might be asking yourself, what's the purpose the link made using the copy to option? Well, this option would be very helpful in making a new custom library from an existing custom library to build additional content with additional variations on an existing theme, essentially layers upon layers of custom content referencing one another. Okay, so that's easy enough to understand, but what's the right way to build a simple custom content library for all of my customizations? Well, the answer is to use the save copy as command and check to make sure that the independent family option is active. You'll get an opportunity to give the component family a unique name, description, and folder. As you can see, I still have the option to create a linked copy from this dialog as an option as well. And the preview option provides access to a few sample rows of the tabulated data, which you can then review to help you catch errors before you make them. Now your new custom component will live an independent and link-free life peacefully together with its other family members in their new home.